And it's been a good friend of the United States ever since then. And I think uh, right now, finally, the United States is giving them a lot of assistance because they've gone through a lot of hardship. Next up for former Assistant Secretary of State Herman Cohen is Atlanta, Georgia. Mitchell on our line for Republicans here on the Washington Journal. Hi, how are you guys doing? Fine. Good? Good. I just have a, a couple questions and comments um, um, referring to the Al-Shabaab and then um, Al-Qaeda and uh, Afghanistan. And you had made a comment um, a few minutes ago about, um, you know, 9-11 originating or you know, the, the issues of 9-11 and the, the terrorism and stuff uh, originating in, Af in Afghanistan. Um, and I, I, from what I've read and studied, I, I don't see that to be the case. I see that 19 of the hijackers were, I'm sorry, 17 of the 19 hijackers were Saudis. Um, and then I also see that the training camps that they supposedly went through, these um, couple, and I, the couple uh, that went through training camps in Afghanistan, uh, the training camps were not terrorist training camps. They were training camps that that we apparently that we had helped set up. That that's just what I've read that, that we had that we had helped set up um, the Mujahideen. Um, and then and I heard also to the CIA from reading the CIA that at best they say maybe two or three of the hijackers maybe passed through the training camps at best. But the real training they did was in Florida and France and Yemen, you know, all over in Saudi Arabia. We, we don't attack these other countries, though. And um, what, Mitchell, you got a call? I mean, you got a uh, question? Well, yeah. What, what, what is he, I was just wondering what Mr. Cohen sees as the, um, the ability for Al-Qaeda to recruit uh, someone like that are a group like Al-Shabaab? Well, I think the reason I said that the 9-11 began in Afghanistan, I'm not an expert on that part of the world, I'm an African expert, is that that was where Al-Qaeda Central was located. It was the headquarters of all of Al-Qaeda's activities with Osama bin Laden, who was more or less in control of the Afghan government at the, at the time. So whether the hijackers came from Saudi or from other places, I think that's not as relevant as the fact that all the planning of, for this attack and other attacks started in Afghanistan. That's why President Bush 43 attacked there. He wanted to get rid of this headquarters. Now, of course, you're right. The 9-11 the hijackers were trained in flying in Florida. They, were, they got visas and they came to the United States to learn how to fly. Unfortunately, we did not understand the reasons why they wanted to learn how to fly. But Al-Qaeda Central was in Afghanistan. After we destroyed their headquarters, they moved over into Pakistan, into the mountains, and we've been tracking them ever since. So uh, Al-Qaeda essentially has people all over the world right now. Some experts have said that uh, there are deep divisions within Al-Shabaab.